from Minnesota's most watched station. This is WCCO 4 News, live at the Minnesota State Fair. Hi, I'm Brian Bestie with your WCCO newscast live from the fair. We want to begin today at the haunted house where WCCO anchors Frank and Chris went in but have not been made it out. Witnesses tell us that the two looked ready for just about anything as they went through the front door. But that was four hours ago. A search party has been sent in and they heard Frank and Chris screaming but have not been able to find them. A mummy on the second floor tells WCCO he saw the couple about an hour ago, but the pair jumped, screamed, and then ran out before he could grab them. We will continue this breaking story and follow the search and let you know what happens. But right now, let's get a look at the weather and traffic with Mara. Mara? Thanks. I'm, I'm Mara with your weather and, and traffic. It's a beautiful day here at the fair. It's a beautiful day here at the fair, and we've told... Hold officials were expecting record numbers of peop people on the streets. We're seeing some backups uh, on the Judson Avenue near the, the Miracle of Birth Center, where Ashley the cow has been expected to give birth at any moment. Things are also getting congested in Cooper Street, right outside of the Lumberjack Show. There are also some reports of family weaving in, in and out of traffic. It turns out they couldn't wait to try their new bacon fluffernutter. As... For this beautiful stretch of weather. Thank you. We want to update you now on Frank and Chris. They have been found. The pair was hiding behind a coffin on the third floor of the haunted house. They are thirsty, a little shaken, but they're expected to be all right. I'm Brian Besti. And I'm Mara Besti. Thank you for watching WCCO for News at the Fair. This has been a WCCO 4 news update from the Minnesota State Fair. Thanks for watching.